Hey everyone, in this short video, I will talk about the MS Bill and I will tell you what it is and how it is used. So MS Build is a platform to build the projects and solutions created in Visual Studio. I will show you how and why you should use MS Build and in the later parts of this video series, I will cover all the different building blocks of this awesome platform to build our applications in a variety of different ways. So let's begin with what MS Build actually is. It is, as I have already told you, it is a platform to build the .NET applications and not even .NET, we can also build .NET Core applications by using MS Build and normally we can do that by using a command prompt but the proper way to use the MS Build explicitly is by using an XML schema which we can use in a specific or a special project file. The XML schema is used to provide the different steps and building blocks of an MS Build project files and in the later part of this video I will show you how we can use an XML document as a project file for the MS Build platform. Visual Studio also uses the MS Build engine to build the projects and solutions and you can open up any project file to see the XML schema definitions which will involve the different steps to build the application or the project. Now the question comes to everyone's mind why we should use MS Build when we can easily build our application using Visual Studio. So there are a number of different reasons for which we can choose to use MS Build and create a special project file for that purpose. The first and very obvious one is when the Visual Studio is not installed. So MS Build does not need the installation of Visual Studio to build the project files and different solutions. So if you just want to build any project which you have and you don't have the Visual Studio installed on your system then you can use MS Build to build the project files. And other reasons could be if you want to follow a very specific process while building your application. So if you have worked on different kinds of applications then you should be aware that building of any application is not always a very straightforward process. I am telling you this because what normally we do is we simply um, build the application and then the executable or any assembly should be copied in the bin folder. There could be situations when we need to copy some different folder contents to somewhere else because our application is built that way or maybe we need to zip the entire contents of the built application and we need to send it via email or maybe we need to upload it using the FTP protocol to a network location etc. The reasons could be endless but what I guess I am trying to say is the build process is not a very simple process. It may involve different steps and different directions to take depending on um, different kinds of variables which could be vendor or client specific. Another reason which I learned about is that we can use MS Build to build the application using the 64-bit version of MS Build application if we want to access more memory to build the application and there could be certain cases in which this could be a very valid reason to use the MS Build instead of a normal 32-bit version. So there are two basic ways to use the MS Build. The first one is to use the command prompt and the second one is to use the project file. Now the usage of command prompt is very limited. We can provide different options but that is very limited in nature because we can only give the info which we can in a single line but in a project file we can um, create the entire steps and entire tasks which we want to execute while building the application and I will show you the examples of both of these ways to build the application using MS Build. So the first thing which I will do is I will create a new project which is going to be a console application and this project does not need to have anything else because we just need to build it to be able to see how the MS Build can be used in two different ways. The first one is by using the command prompt and the second one is by using an external project file so let's just 
um, add piece of code to it I mean it's not really necessary but let's just do that console.read line and that should be pretty much it now what I will do is I will open up the folder of this project and I will create a new folder and let's name it um, MS build now first I will show you how we can build this project using the command prompt and for that I will need to open up the um, the Windows command prompt the executable file of MS build resides in the program files folder of Microsoft Visual Studio but before we can execute the MS build.exe to build this project we need to navigate to this folder so let's do that all right so now I will simply paste the path of the MS build executable which is this one program files and then Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 I have the community edition installed and the current version of MS build at the time of making this video is 15 so uh, we need to navigate to that folder too and then we can um, execute the MS build.exe in the bin folder now if I will simply execute it then it will look for any project in the current folder and it will simply build it now the default build mode is the debug mode but if we need to build in the release mode then we can do that too for that what we need to do is we simply need to provide an argument or a property value which is the configuration so I'm not really sure if you can see clearly what I am typing over here so I will try to increase the font size and let's do that 24 yep now I guess you can see it so I'm just adding a property as an argument when I'm executing the MS build.exe and the name of the property is configuration so I'm going to provide the value of release to this property and when I will press the enter key then this project will be built in the release mode so this is how we can use the MS build executable file by using the command prompt or any other terminal um, you can also use other terminals like git bash but you need to make sure that you will write the path in the correct format like you need to use the correct escape characters for forward slash character etc so that's something to keep in mind while doing that Alright, so the next thing which I will do is I will show you how you can use the MS build by creating a project file in the form of an XML document. So um, for that purpose, oh, you know what, let's just keep the name as build. So now in this build folder, I will create two files and I will use Visual Studio code to do that. So when you will press or when you will enter code dot then visual studio code will be opened for this current folder and the first file which i will create is the build.xml now this xml file will contain the schema to build our application so i'm just going to copy and paste the entire contents of the xml document for this video and let's just zoom it a little bit so this XML document is pretty simple to understand. The first thing which we are doing is we are providing the value of the default targets attribute. Now this default target attributes value is used to specify which target we need to execute by default. So whenever we will execute the MS build application and we will use this project file, then this start target will be the first to be executed. And this is just the namespace which we are using for this um, XML schema. Now there is the property group which contains the source folder path. So if you will look in this folder, then you will see that we will need to go back one step and then we will need to go into this console app one folder to be able to access this solution. So 
this is exactly what happening over here we are going back one step and then we are going into this console app one folder now this source folder property will later be used by this build target but this build target will be executed by this start so why don't we execute this build target initially as a default target instead of you know calling this start target the reason for that is there could be so many different targets which should be executed and they should all be bootstrapped or wired up to a single target now in this case you can only see one target which is built which is being called from this start but in reality there could be like i don't know hundreds of different targets to be executed sequentially to do the stuff which we need to do while building the application using as build so this is why we just wire up the entire sequence of targets and tasks which we need to call by using a single default target which will be executed whenever the project file will be initialized by the ms build executable so coming back to the start the start will execute the build target and the build target will simply build the console app solution by using this ms build task and it requires certain attributes the first thing is the um, the project files which we need to build in this case we are providing the name of the solution and we need to provide the fully qualified path of the solution so this is why we are first getting the relative path into a property and then by using that property we can get to the name of the solution or project file and after this we can provide some properties and like we did in the command prompt over here um, we provided the type of the configuration we can do that over here too we are um, using the release mode to build this application and first we will clean the application and then we will build it now there is another attribute continue on error if there is any error then we just want this entire build process to be stopped and stop on first failure equals to true i mean there are different attributes which you can look at but these are the very basic ones which you should be aware of now this is the project file in the form of an xml document the second thing which we need to do is we need a way to execute this xml file and that is by using a batch file so in the batch file we can simply execute the same command which we did in this console so i'm going to do just that but with a slight modification we don't need to provide any kind of um, configuration property over here because we have done that in this build.xml over here so we are just calling this msbuild.exe from its folder where it is installed and then we are um, providing the name of the xml project file as an argument and then there is the pause command to be able to see what has been um, printed in the command prompt so let's see if this entire thing is working or not and to do that i will simply run this batch file and one more thing i'm just going to clean up both of these folders so that we can see the the output which has been generated by um, executing this batch file so when i executed the batch file then you can see that there is a lot of different stuff which has been printed over here all of this is basically related to the different steps which are being involved while building this application we can suppress all of these messages by using separate commands and we can also write all of these things in a separate log file too for tracking purposes and the build has been successfully completed and we can check that out by going to the bin folder now you can see that in the release mode there is the console app one application and that's it now if you want to build um, this solution in the debug mode instead of release mode you can do, do that too you can do that too and i will have to execute this batch file again and then let's 
go back and check in the bin folder and there it is now you can also um, actually use different versions or different types of this batch file like for building and release and debug modes or like to execute the build for different environments it's up to you how you want to um, you know set up this entire thing for your applications to build them in a certain way so i guess that's pretty much it for this video guys and i hope that you have understood what i'm trying to explain over here and if you have any questions then don't be shy to use the comments section and please be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so to be able to know the uh, updates about any new videos so i will see you in the next one till then have a great day